Welcome back to Great Day. Charcuterie has been around for centuries, but today it has been elevated. It's really popular right now among millennials. Makes sense. That was the first generation to eat Lunchables. Piece of cheese, slice of meat, a carrot, a cracker, maybe a few nuts. Our next guest got on board as a way to spend quality time with friends. She's the Beyonce of cheese, and she puts the cute <laughs> in charcuterie. Amanda Starley is the founder of Social Spreads. Good morning, Amanda. Good morning, Deborah. I love this. You know, I love charcuterie so much that I did not want a birthday cake a couple of years ago. I just wanted a charcuterie board. How did you first get started with it? I heard that and I love that about you. Um, so I got started doing this. Honestly, it goes all the way back to college. When my husband and I were in college, my then boyfriend, we used to get a block of brie and a six pack of beer <laughs> and call it dinner. We were a little broke, a little bougie, and that was how it started. And I've been making cheese boards and charcuterie boards ever since that. Yeah, and it's got to be a great feeling that you were making them, but then people started requesting them. People went nuts. As soon as I said, this is a service that I provide and I'm not just doing it for my friends and for my family, it grew like wildfire. And it's just been a roller coaster, a very, very fun wild roller coaster ever since. Yeah, you said people went nuts. I got what you did right there because, you know, nuts are part of the deal right there, part of the <laughs> spread. Intended. Yeah. And then uh, even ending up on Rachel Ray show. Yes, that was so exciting. She was like her whole staff. She the whole experience was just amazing for me. Such an honor. Yeah, you're the mom of three, so I'm I'm thinking their lunchable yes. looks a little bit different than most others. But the cool thing about a <laughs> the cool thing about a charcuterie board though is that when you look at it, it really can have all the food groups on it if you want to. It's a balanced meal in a sense. That's what I love about them so much is because if you're having a charcuterie board for your company. It doesn't matter if they're keto, if they're vegetarian, vegan, whatever, sensitive, gluten sensitive, there is something on that platter for everyone. Yeah. All right. Very popular right now. I mentioned earlier, it's actually downright become almost like a sport. We're looking at a lot of these really beautiful um, arrangements here. It really, the charcuterie board is Thank a you. blank canvas for you to just paint your art with, your edible art uh, with. Okay. So take us through just kind of some basic steps of what you should do to keep in mind. Because I know a lot of people will look at a complete board and go, I can't do that. I can't do that. It's one step at a time. It is one step at a time. So I've created what I call the 7C method. And the 7C method starts with containers, which would be things like honey. Um, it would be uh, mustard, anything that would spill, anything that needs to be contained, okay? Then we move to the cheese, which I always like to have a hard cheese, a soft cheese, and a controversial cheese. A con um, what's a, con like wait, a, what's cheese. a controversial <laughs> cheese? <laughs> Everybody needs a little controversy. It would be something that you love or you hate. So for an example, a blue cheese or a cheese that's really spicy or for some people, goat cheese. Um, so it's, it's not a, uh, it, it's controversial. Right. You love it or you hate it. Okay. <laughs> um, Okay, so then we move on to the charcuterie, which the charcuterie very specifically is the meat portion of the board. So if someone says, I'm going to bring you a charcuterie board and there's not meat on that board, they lied to you. Yeah, it because that's what it really started out meat. as, right? It, it was it was cold meats, uh, charcuterie back in, in France. And so we started adding other things to it over the years. Deborah, you know your charcuterie. Oh, I, I am yeah. impressed. Look, look, if I had had a daughter <laughs> instead of a son, I probably would have named her charcuterie. <laughs> I love it. Um, okay, so then the next one is crackers, and crack it would be either crackers or bread. Um, and I have wide variety that I put with those. But my my one bit of advice is if you're getting quality meats and quality cheeses, make sure that you also put quality, like nice complimentary crackers um, with it. And then we move on to the color, which is where the fruit comes in. That's all of the different colors. I like to have at least three fruits on a board. And then after that, we would have you crunch, ever have controversial fruits as well? Controversial fruits? I I don't think there is a controversial <laughs> fruit, but there are seasonal fruits. I try to stick to what's in season because it cuts down on the cost. And usually the colors are kind of consistent with the season. So right now I'm doing a lot of pomegranates and doing a lot of um, like green grapes um green apples i'm trying to keep the colors red and green for the platters mm -hmm. um but like last month i was doing a lot of persimmons and things like that okay um and then so the sixth c is where we do the crunch that's the nuts and the dark chocolate and the seventh c is charisma and as you can see on your board in front of you the charisma is it's going to be herbs sometimes it can be flowers 
in this season, it's a lot of times candy canes, anything that gives it a little something special. Yeah. And, and you I, can see that board. And, I, I, I love how you have like you know, to make it seasonal. You didn't have to go reinvent the whole charcuterie wheel. You did some cutouts mm-hmm. of the cheese right here in a Christmas tree and then adding. Is that rosemary? Is that? Yeah, mm, there's oh, some rosemary so in there mm-hmm. and then there's um, some pomegranates and then the little um, cookie chocolate cookie star. There's also some peppermint bark on there to give it a little seasonal flair. Yeah. All right. Let's throw something together real quick. I have like the basics right here. So take me through okay. what I can do. Okay. So what I'm going to have you do is I'm going to have you open your brie wheel. Okay. Open the package of it. And as you can see, there's a smooth side to the brie. And then there's like a wrinkle side. That's the wrapper side. We want to have the smooth side up. Okay. Okay. So and by the I'm way, I just want to mention to people real quick, you do do a blog where they can follow along and learn all kinds of tips. I do. All, everything on Instagram. So Instagram's the best place to look. I've got tons of tutorials on there, all kinds of tips and tricks and things like that, that I, I mean, you'll be a pro if you just go through all of yeah. my reels, to be honest. Okay, so here it is, right here. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my cheese wire, which these are $10 on Amazon. Again, if you go to my Instagram, I have an Amazon store where you can find this. It's okay. like the best tool ever. And then I'm gonna do a thin slice, just slicing off the top, I don't know, maybe the top third. Okay. And I'm going to go all the way through. Oh, yeah, you're so right. Then I just peel that right off. Okay. All right. So you have a Christmas tree um, cut out, cookie cutter. I'm going to do a snowflake. But you have the, the Christmas tree one because that's what I did for your board. So I'm going to quickly do push just right down on that top piece with my oh, cookie cutter. My, 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 okay. My, my tree um it, timber is all i can say i'm just going to take the inside of this one and then i'm going to move get it get rid of this outer piece kind of like your, your outer piece just got a little demolished that's okay yeah and then i'm going to just place this right here in the center ah there you go okay it, look we get the idea on that right there and the whole thing is just to try get creative you really can't mess it up if you do just sprinkle some berries on top of it uh amanda thank you so much it's for gonna like, taste good no matter what you might as well try to make it look good but either way it's delicious that's right that's right when it's in your tummy you don't care what it looks like but amanda thank you very much <laughs> for bringing our uh, charcuterie to the attention of some people who may not have thought about it Thank you so much for having me, Deborah. All right. For more information on Amanda Starley or social spreads, go to greatdayhouston.com. They actually deliver charcuterie boards to you. So if you want to have your whole party set up and uh, take care of all the food, have somebody else take care of all the food, she can do those spreads for you and you can request different looks if you want.